I always felt like life has given me a second chance and I should do something good with it. Only two weeks after I was born, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded. It created huge health problems in the region. One day I was in my crib and just stopped breathing. I was clinically dead. Luckily, my mom gave me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, which saved my life. I grew up in a small town called Akko. Akko was pretty boring. There were no shopping malls or cinemas, so most of my time was spent on the beach. Later in life, I found out two very important things. The first is that wave energy can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. The second thing was that one out of eight people in the world are currently dying premature death as a direct result of pollution. I thought to myself, definitely the seas and the oceans around us could be the solution for that problem. One day I was invited to a pool party. A pool party is definitely not the place to do business or work on patents. But there I was, sitting in the pool, drinking cocktails, and next to me was a guy named David. So I asked him, what's your passion? He said, wave energy. David and I were not engineers, and so couldn't make sketches, blueprints, or calculations that are needed in order to make an idea into reality. So we hired engineers that could do the practical design work. My passion and belief really helped overcome many obstacles and persuade the right people. It sounds crazy, but that moment was the beginning of our company, EcoWave Power. And here I am, six years later, in the first wave energy power station in Europe, operating here in Gibraltar. In operation mode, the floaters are going up and down, pushing the hydro cylinders, which transmit hydraulic fluid through the pipes into the machinery room. So here we are in EcoWave Power's land-located machinery room. The hydraulic fluid from the hydro cylinders is transferred into land-located accumulators. Inside the accumulators, a pressure is being created, which is used to turn the hydro motor, which turns the generator, that sends clean electricity into the Gibraltar grid. The whole system is controlled by a smart automation system, which makes sure that the electricity is being sent in a stable manner. Here we can see Rami operating the automation system. The woman you see in front of you today is very different to the one that started the company six years ago. You know the feeling when you know all the answers but no one is asking you? They directed all their questions only to David. So I kept answering their question until after a while they realized, hey, this girl knows what she's talking about. Nowadays I feel much more confident presenting to high-ranking businessmen and government officials. My biggest passion is to also bring it to developing countries because they have the greatest need for energy. 70% of Sub-Saharan Africa isn't connected to any source of electricity, although the continent is surrounded by a huge coastline. Imagine the energy we could generate with those waves and the lives we could change if we bring electricity there. I had a great idea, but I had no way of making it come into life. I didn't have engineering knowledge, I didn't have the contacts, I didn't have the money. Still, I decided to pursue my passion, because passion is the greatest renewable energy source. I still have big dreams for EcoWave Power. I'm excited to be a pioneer in this sector and actually spread wave power all over the world. <laughs>